coming back! David and the army! I saw them! They're almost here! Are you sure? Quick now, get ready! Praise God! David has conquered again! Praise God for David! Whoa, now wait just a second! Now this seems vaguely familiar, except last time it was King Saul leading the armies, and now it's David. He's been working for Saul ever since he killed Goliath, and he's found nothing but success. Now he's the general over the Israelite armies. He's married to the king's daughter. Everybody knows David and everybody loves him. Well, almost everybody. Saul sure ain't happy with him, but can you blame him when the people sing songs like this? Sometimes it feels like no one has a clue. And it seems people are starting forget about you and there's nothing well nothing that you can do so this courageous he thought be am a knight thought david david killed the lion what all this fair and just and he is why thank you david david killed the lion are you kidding me what I'm hearing. David is something, and what a warrior he's become. God is using him to do all kinds of amazing things. That's why the people say Saul has killed his thousands, but David his tens of thousands. Oh, tens of thousands. Oops, guess I should have said that so loud. <laughs> Jonathan, we made it home again, man. <laughs> we live to fight another day, right? <laughs> That does seem to be the pattern. Yeah, you know what's another pattern? Me saving your hide. Oh, I know. That was a close one today. Yeah, it was. You were moments away from being 12 inches shorter. <laughs> oh, you're always there, Jonathan. Thank you. Oh, don't thank me. It's an honor to fight with you. 
Just open up your left shoulder. You'll be able to see better. Jonathan! Jonathan! I'll be right up. My father's in a rage again. David, will you come play for him, please? Oh, Jonathan. Come on, man. You're the only one that can calm him down. It didn't work last time. He threw a spear at me, Jonathan, twice. And let's not forget, he actually told you to kill me. You don't remember that? That wasn't that long ago. Look, I know. I know. But he's not well, David. And your music, that's the only thing that's ever helped him. Oh. All right. Yeah, I'll do it. Oh, thanks, brother. Come quickly. You are not listening. No one listens. Nobody cares. You have to calm down, my king. Don't tell me to calm down. You don't know what it's like. The people have turned against me. You've all turned against me. All of the heavens are against me. There's no calm. There's no peace. But still, you need to calm down. There is no light, Abner. There is no light in here. It's all darkness. Empty. And no one is helping me. Where is Samuel? I sent word for him. He's not coming, my king. Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? Oh, what is he doing here? He's going to play for you, father. Have a seat. You know what? You're absolutely right. Some time alone here with David would do me a world of good. Leave us with the music. Leave us! Play something, boy. Anyone can kill a giant. There is no need to fear. A giant can fall like anyone else. Trust that God is here. Beautiful, I love it. Anyone can kill a giant when God is on your side. Say tens of thousands. What? See if you can work that into your song somehow. It sounds so catchy, doesn't it? Tens of thousands. I... I don't understand. Don't play games with me, boy. You think you can take my throne? King Saul. You think you can turn the people against me and not pay a price? Come on, my king. I'm on your side. No one's on my side! You ungrateful worm! I took you in, and you plot to overthrow me! I am not plotting anything. I've seen you swaying the people. I've heard what they say about you. You've stolen my army from me. You've turned my own son against me. You're a snake, little boy. And the only way to deal with a snake is to chop off its head. My king, I am your faithful servant. I pray for you every day that God will lead and guide you. How dare you speak my name to God? He is selfish. He is unjust. He has turned his back on me like a pouting child waiting for an apology. But there will be none. I make a couple of mistakes in the course of a lifetime of service, and he discards me. He's the one who should be apologizing. King Saul. He'll soon know what it's like to lose something precious to him. You can't steal my kingdom if you're dead. What's going on? Father, stop! I'm sorry, my king. I knew it was a bad idea to leave them. That's enough. That's enough. I'm fine. You stay here with him. I'll try to find David. Are you okay, my king? Abner, are you still my loyal servant? Of course, my king. Till the day I die. Then obey my orders. Send two of your best men to wait outside David's home. The next time he shows his face, kill him. Are you my loyal servant, or aren't you? It will be done, my king. This doesn't look good at all, people. It looks like Saul has finally flipped his lid. It's a good thing David has rock-solid faith that the Lord will protect him. Does that sound like foreshadowing to you? Later that night... They're still down there, David. He means it this time. He wants you dead. Michael, I'm not disagreeing with you. I, I, I just don't know what to do about it. Jonathan thinks that... Jonathan refuses to see what he's become. 
My father knows how popular you are. He knows the people would rather have you as their king. Why don't you seize the throne? Tonight! I'm not doing that, Michael. Why not? Because God chose him to be king, and God will choose the time when he's not. Well, then you have no choice but to run. Run? Run where? Anywhere, David! If you stay here, you'll be dead by morning. No. No, the Lord will protect me. I know my father, David. He won't rest until you're dead and gone. <laughs> and you're just gonna let him... <laughs> I'm scared, David. I don't want to lose you. No, you're not losing anything. I'm right here. But for how long? You think you're just going to go about your day tomorrow? When the assassins catch you off guard, you think God will just turn their blades into sheep's wool? If that's his will, yes. God's will for you is to be the next king of Israel. How will you do that if you're dead? Run, David. Don't ask God to work miracles if you're not willing to help yourself. Run! Yeah. Okay. Maybe you're right. If I'm not here, maybe things will calm down a little bit. Buy me some time to, to figure out God's will. But I can't just walk out the front door. We'll lower you over the wall, through the back window. I'll cover for you, give you enough time to find safety. All right, I'll go. But please be careful. When your father finds out you're helping me... I can handle my father. Just go. If I've said it once, I've said it a thousand times. You just never know when life's going to take a turn. Things were going so well for David, but now he's on the run. And can you blame him? What would you do if a king was trying to kill you? Oh, hey, fellas. How y'all doing tonight? I'm about to brew a pot of tea. Y'all want some? Now, David has complete faith that God will protect him. There's no question about that. But Michael, she isn't so convinced. So she decided to resort to a little trickery to help David along. Now, this part's kind of funny. Night turned into day, and the more light there was, the more anxious Saul got. So finally, he was like, What's taking so long? Find out where David is! So the soldiers went to check, but Michael was all sneaky. She stuffed a bunch of junk in David's bed, threw on a little goat's hair, and pretended he was asleep. She was like, Y'all are gonna have to come back later because he's not feeling well enough to be dragged off at this time. And they were all, Yeah, that makes sense. I hope you feel better, David. Now when Saul heard all this, he about had a seizure. He was like, I'm not waiting for him to get better before I kill him. If you thought about it for a second, I'm sure you would see how ridiculous that is. Now go get him. Bring him here on a stretcher if you have to. I want him dead. So this time, there was no stopping them. They burst in, and it was no time at all before they realized they had been had. You should have seen the look on their faces. They were like, well, we probably should go find a good rock to live under, because Saul is not going to like this. And you know what? He really did. <laughs> but all this nonsense gave David enough time to get to the only place he thought he'd be safe, the School of the Prophets. That's where Samuel is a teacher. David figured if anybody would know God's will, it would be him. So he missed you with another spear, did he? Barely. I felt the wind off it. Poor guy seems to have the worst of luck with spears. Someone should encourage him to try a different weapon. Yeah? I'll be sure to mention that to him next time I see him. Saul is trying to kill me, Samuel. Yes, that's no surprise. Saw that coming years ago. What? Seriously? No. The only part that interests me now is what you're going to do about it. I don't know what I'm going to do about it. He's the king. God's chosen, and he wants me dead. He's not going to stop, Samuel. What can I do? do? Do I just keep running? Should I sit still and just wait for him to get me? Should I fight back? And if I do, can I beat him? Can I escape him? Can I talk some sense into him? Should I... I, 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 me, me, me. Do you feel like you're facing this alone? No. 
I know God is with me. That he is. Forever and always. We all have our King Saul's to face, my boy. For some, just making ends meet is their King Saul. For others, it's pride or lust. Your King Saul just happens to be the actual King Saul, a tormented madman who's trying to kill you. But in all cases, I give the same advice. Trust God. Keep your heart open to him and know that he is there leading you, protecting you. If there's one thing I've learned from my long journey on this earth, it's that God keeps his promises. He said you would be king, and so you shall. Stay true to him, and he will lead you there. I, I'm scared, Samuel. Anyone would be in your position. Well, you can certainly stay here for as long as you'd like. We'll commune together with God and ease our spirits. It'll be fun. Thank you so much, Samuel. No worries at all. My students will be thrilled to prepare a bed for you. I, I have to be honest. That smells amazing. Can I have some? This is my laundry. Oh. You're welcome to have some if you'd like. <laughs> no, no thanks. I'll pass. My king. We've received word that David is in Ramah. With Samuel. Of course he is. <sighs> Samuel's a traitor too. I'm sure they're plotting all kinds of things together. King Saul, please listen to reason. David is not your enemy. He's- oh, Send a unit of soldiers. Bring them both back to me. But my king- Send soldiers or I will have you killed too. Of course, your majesty. And that's exactly what happened. Armed soldiers descended on the innocent school of the prophets. They could see them coming a long way off and David was beside himself. But Samuel, Samuel knew just what to do. We are looking for David and Samuel. Are they here? I am Samuel. Did you come to praise the Lord your God? Um, well, not exactly. We're on a mission from- Why don't you want to praise the Lord your God? Uh, it's not that we don't want to. We just, it's not what we were sent here to- Wonderful! Then let's praise the Lord. The earth is the Lord's. And everything in it His nature is perfect His strength has no limit When singing to God We love every minute Thanks be to God His love is infinite Infinite? What's infinite? So trust in Him He will provide The things we all will need let the Lord be glorified, with Him we will succeed. No need to run, no need to hide, His word is guaranteed. When the Lord is by your side, there's no better place to be. The earth is the Lord's, and everything in it His nature is perfect, His strength has no limit We sing to God, we love every minute Thanks be to God, His love is infinite You were at Ramah, you saw Samuel and David? Yes, sir. I'm proud to report the mission is accomplished. Is it? The deed is done. Without a hitch. The whole unit is there right now, chilling with David and Samuel. What? 
What did you say? Your orders were to chill with David and Samuel, and that's exactly what we're doing. You know, those guys are really a blast to hang out with. I said kill! Kill David and Samuel, not chill! Why would I ask you to chill with them? Ooh, yikes! How did we get that mixed up? Send more troops! Do not confuse my orders! Exterminate David! The earth is the Lord's, and everything in it His nature is perfect, His strength has no limit When singing to God, we love every minute Thanks be to God, His love is infinite The will of the Lord will not be denied He controls the land and the sea no heart he cannot purify, no prisoner he cannot break free. The earth is the Lord's, and everything in it. His nature is perfect, his strength has no limit. When singing to God, we love every minute. Thanks be to God, his love is infinite. This time we followed your orders precisely, my king. I'm sure you'll be pleased. Excellent. Where's David? Just as directed, the second unit joined forces with the first unit to imitate David and Samuel. It was a beautiful sight. Please tell me you didn't just say imitate. Imitate? You said go imitate David. I said exterminate. Exterminate! Send more troops! Kill David now! Kill him, squash him, devour him, eliminate him. Can I even be more clear? Go now! The earth is the Lord's, and everything in it. His nature is perfect, his strength has no limit. When singing to God, we love every minute. Thanks be to God, his love is infinite. So trust in Him, He will provide the things we all will need. So let the Lord be glorified, with Him we will succeed. The earth is the Lord's, and everything in it. His nature is perfect, His strength has no limit. When singing to God, we love every minute. Thanks be to God, His love is infinite. My king, you'll be super pleased when- Is David dead? Dead? That's it! Prepare my horse! I will go take care of this myself! Infinite love Infinite grace, the infinite power of God overwhelms this place. Infinite love, infinite grace, the infinite power of God keeps me amazed. And David. Hello, Saul. Did you come to praise the Lord your God? You know exactly why I'm here. Because you're still out searching 
for something you've lost that can't be found. I'm here to do one thing, Samuel. The will of the Lord will not be denied. He controls the land and the sea. No heart he cannot purify. No prisoner he cannot break free. The earth is the Lord's, and everything in it. His nature is perfect, his strength has no limit. When singing to God, we love every minute. Thanks be to God, his love is infinite. Thanks be to God, his love is infinite. Thanks be to God, his love is infinite. David, where are you going? He's gonna wake up eventually, Samuel. Oh, he's, he's not gonna stop trying to kill me. I thought you felt safe here. I did. I never dreamed Saul would try to get me in this sacred place. But here he is. And not only am I in danger, but so is everyone around me. I can't stay here. But I don't know where to go. I'm more scared now than ever. I'm an old man, David. I don't have many musical numbers left in me. I won't always be around to help you. So let me give you the only advice you really need. Be a man after God's own heart. Be aware of when you're following your own path and not his. Don't let your fear cloud your vision and lead you astray. And if you find yourself lost, return to him with reverence and repentance. Wherever this road is about to take you, trust him. If you do, he will let you lie down in green pastures. He will lead you beside still and quiet waters. He will restore your soul and lead you in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Will you do that, David? Yes, Samuel. I will. Good. And yes, that was beautiful. Feel free to write that down. <laughs> Thank you, Samuel. I'll see you again. Perhaps. David didn't know it then, but that was indeed the last time that he would see Samuel. Now Saul laid like a dead man outside the school of the prophets for a full 24 hours. He was under the influence of a divine spirit. And by the time he woke up, he didn't know where to even begin looking for David. How could he? David didn't even know where David was going. So Saul just went home. And little did he know that a few days later, David would be back there too. Jonathan, David, what's going on? I've been worried sick about you. Uh, oh, you smell terrible. Uh, yeah, sorry. I kind of slept with some pigs last night. Pigs? What's the matter with you? Come home. I can't, Jonathan. Your father is trying to kill me. Ah, no, he's not. He just gets in these moods. Moods? He sent armed soldiers to the school of the prophets, Jonathan. The school of the prophets? Armed soldiers? I know, David. He's getting crazier, but he's not plotting to kill you anymore. What happened at the school really seemed to calm him down. I promise, I think he's a changed man. Maybe next time we do that a little gentler? Listen, David, we're close, man. You're my brother. Keeping you safe has become my personal responsibility. Don't you think if my father was planning something, I would tell you? I know you would, if you knew. But your father knows how close we are, too. 
Why would he tell you this? He doesn't do anything without talking to so me. So you knew about the school of the prophets? Pan, I'm telling you, there's hardly a step between me and death. All right, brother. What can I do for you? Let's at least put it to the test. The new moon feast starts tomorrow night. Now, I'm supposed to eat with the king, but there is no way that I'm going. And at some point, he's probably going to ask where I am. Tell him, tell him you gave me permission to go to Bethlehem for our annual family feast. And if he says, cool, no problem, then I'll come right back. But if he goes crazy, then that's all the proof you need of his intentions. Deal? That's a good plan. Here's what you do. Go hide out behind the Rock of Izel. On the third day of the feast, I'll come out into that field like I'm gonna do target practice with my bow. And I'll grab whoever I can find to go out there and retrieve my arrows. Now, if I shoot my arrow short of that guy, then you'll know it's safe to come back. But if I shoot my arrow beyond him over his head, then you'll know things didn't go so well. Got it? Yeah, okay. Why don't you just come and tell me? Oh, that's a great idea. What? You get to make a cool plan, but I don't? It's a cool plan. All right, all right. We'll do the arrow thing. <laughs> there wasn't even anybody coming that time. <laughs> oh, I miss you, man. Be safe, David. So now the boys have a plan, but I don't see how it's gonna make things any better. Just seems like we're getting in deeper and deeper. But what do I know? I'm just the storyteller. Sure enough, the new moon feast got underway. And sure enough, David was a no-show. Now the first night, Saul figured there may be some legitimate reasons why David hadn't gotten there yet. But by the second night, by the second night, Saul definitely knew something was up. And so did everybody else. It just wasn't the same without David there. Even the music suffered without David. All right, that's enough. That's enough. Ugh, no more music. Stop playing. I can't do that anymore. <clears throat> um, we can play more, Your Majesty. We have 14 more songs ready for you tonight. Ugh, then why are you playing songs that aren't ready? Oh. Your Majesty, tonight's feast is prepared. We can begin at your command. <laughs> we can't start yet. Not everyone is here. I think everyone who is coming has arrived, my king. Nonsense! What about David? He would never miss a new moon feast. Where is the little scamp? Oh, didn't I tell you? No, you didn't tell me. Tell me what? David asked if he could go back home for his family's feast this time, and I didn't think you'd mind, so I told him he could. You didn't think I'd mind? Why would you? People do it all the time. You backstabbing, conniving wretch of a son! You think I don't know where your loyalty lies? I know you've chosen the son of Jesse over your own father, you shameful, thankless brat! <clears throat> King Saul, the people... You may as well not even be my son. You'll never be king anyway as long as David's alive. You may as well be dead. Maybe I'll spare your mother the shame and kill you myself. No! Get out! You're not welcome here anymore. Go! And the rest of you, stop gawking at me. Bring out the food. Get this feast started again! No music! No music! Whoa. Well, I guess you know where your arrow's gonna land. Without a doubt. Jonathan finally knows what's up. Saw it with his own eyes. So once the third day of the feast rolled around, he couldn't wait to warn David. He grabbed a servant from the city to help execute the plan. Hey, hey, I'm gonna go shoot an arrow. I want you to go get it. What? Why? I don't know, target practice. 
There's no targets out here. Hey, I'm shooting an arrow. Just go get it, all right? Okay, I guess. Head out about a hundred yards. You want me to go out before you shoot? Yeah. Why not? I'm going to put it over your head. No, I I'm not comfortable with that. Dude, I'm Jonathan. I'm an expert with this thing. Go on. All right. But it doesn't sound like a good idea to me. You'll be fine. Get out there. I'm tempted to zip one past your ear. I heard that. That's good. Keep going. And... <laughs> Could have put it closer. Did you get it? Yeah, eventually. Nice target. It went beyond you, right? No, I've got it. Yeah, yeah, but wait, it went beyond you, right? No, it's right here. I'm holding uh, it. I know, but it went beyond you, right? I don't understand the confusion. Uh, it went beyond you, okay? It went beyond you. Okay, fine. It went beyond me. Just come back here. Uh, you're useless. You know this is my free time, right? Just hurry up. Come on, you're taking too long. <sighs> Maybe if you hadn't shot it so far. Here, take my stuff back to the city. What? Take my stuff back to the city. You drag me out here for target practice, and you shoot one arrow. You, <laughs> you didn't even hit anything. W would you just get out of here? Go on, you're burning daylight. This didn't seem very well planned out. Whoa. It's a cool plan, man. I can come up with cool plans, too. David? You out here? Yeah. I'm here. I guess. Did you get all that? Yeah. I got it. Your dad still wants me dead. Oh, yeah. I've never been more sure of anything in my life. He even tried to kill me, too. I'm so sorry, man. What do I do, Jonathan? I I can't go back home. I don't I don't know where else to go. I I'm frightened. What do you mean frightened? You're David. You killed the giant. What are you scared of? I don't know. This is different. This is Saul. And he's our king. But he's turned into a spear-throwing maniac. And you once called God an impenetrable shield. Huh. What happened to that guy, David? What'd you do with him? You don't understand. I have to go. Where are you gonna go, David? I don't know. What hiding place is going to protect you better than God? Listen, I didn't ask for any of this, Jonathan. This is not what I signed up for. This is a tough situation. These are hard decisions, and there are no right answers. This is one of those times when it all comes crashing down, and right now, I just want to run away, okay? Just let me go. Okay, all right. I just... All right, I get it. You do you, brother. But let me tell you something. There is not a doubt in my mind that you are going to be the next king of Israel. Not me. Because God has chosen you, David. I know it's hard to see right now, but don't lose your faith. He has a plan for you. Follow him and lead his people. That is why I'll serve you until my dying day. I'll be your trusted servant, your best friend. This is my solemn oath. My family and your family. Forever. Thank you, Jonathan. I feel the same way. Be safe, brother. I know they mean well when they say to me, trust the Lord. That I should have faith And I should not run But they aren't the ones who'll die I am the one dodging the spears God's chosen one is the threat His plan changed with Saul Maybe I've done something wrong I'd rather run than be dead When did I lose my courage? Where did I get this fright? And how did I go from killing a giant to running away in the night? 
There are times in our lives when we face our darkest fear. The panic soon arrives and it seems God isn't near. It feels like there's no way God is hearing you. How could he allow this hurt you're going through? So focused on pain, we do not look to the one Who promises we'll never be alone He is there, he is there After you run, no matter how far He's there, he is there You may not know where you are He is there, and he feels what you're going through takes time effort becomes success so is the path to ruin compromises and tiny steps then suddenly you find yourself where you didn't intend to go because one thing led to another and things went out of control but there is hope in this though it may feel like there is none God still has a plan for you even when you run, he is there, he is there. After you run, no matter how far, he's there, he is there. You may not know where you are, he is there, and he feels what you're going through. You can't outrun.